a little back and forth with some members of the press. Just before we went to him, he was uh, saying that he thinks it's a good bill that passed last night, but he also thinks that uh, Congress has to get to work on, I'm going to quote him here, the job-killing spending binge that this government has been in on. Let's bring Mindy Stevens Simon back, our company. So, you know, it is the season. I believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> so uh, I like to believe, as some people have suggested, Steve, that this bipartisan achievement could be and I'm going to read from the New York Times, the prototype for future hard-bargained compromises in this government. Is that what we saw last night? It's potentially what you saw. However, you have to consider that the Congress that this was sort of negotiated in is going to change pretty significantly in the next few weeks, and you have a new Congress coming in. And, and if you look at I, I think there's sort of an ominous sign with what happened in the Senate last night, where this, this omnibus spending bill basically died. They're, they're not going to you know, vote on it. It's going to pass on a temporary extension. Why did it die? It died because there was sort of a Republican revolt over earmarks, which make up less than you know, a fraction of 1% of the overall spending in this thing. But earmarks have become such a powerful symbol to the Republican Party base and every Republican senator sort of looked at that, looked at what happened in the 2010 elections with all the carnage in Republican primaries and said, I don't want to take the risk of voting for something that symbolically is going to offend the Republican Party base and endanger me in a primary challenge. And if that's what's motivating Republican senators and Republican members of the House for the next two years, the fear of a primary challenge, much more than the fear of losing the general election, it's going to make any kind of bargaining and any kind of compromise with a Democratic president very difficult. And Mindy, we were hearing again in the break before that, that uh, John Boehner was talking about about the omnibus bill and was making some of the criticisms that uh, Steve just articulated. But really, is that what they should be talking about right now? Because as Steve pointed out, those earmarks are such a small percentage. Yes, they're symbolic, but they're such a small percentage of this omnibus bill. Well, as John Boehner talks about often, what both parties need to do is find common ground in places that they agree to cut. Earmarks are just the beginning, but they're a good first step. You also heard John Boehner talk about certainty and the importance of certainty for small businesses and businesses who are looking to hire, looking to invest, but weren't sure what was going to happen with their taxes come next year. And that's why this compromise is, as you, talk, you called it a prototype, quoting the New York Times, it is a good first step, but obviously Republicans in the House are going to be looking to provide more certainty, and not just certainty, but relief when it comes to taxes next year so businesses can actually create jobs. I want to be Scrooge just after I said I believed in Santa Claus, Simon, but what are really the prospects for significant cuts in spending here? It's something people like to talk about on Capitol Hill. It's not something they've ever proved to be very good at. Well, I think it also is going to reinforce the difference between attacking the deficit and attacking spending cuts. You notice the Republicans don't talk about deficit reduction anymore because there's not a single Republican anywhere in the country that actually has a plan to reduce the deficit even by a penny over the next 10 years. As long as they stay wedded to these huge tax cuts that they've been promoting, they're never actually going to be able to reduce the deficit. So instead of talking about that, what they're now talking about is marginal spending cuts on the margins that are really not going to amount to very much and fundamentally change the deficit picture. So I think this is all politics in the Republican Party right now. All right. To our company, thank you very much for spending this last uh, Friday before big holiday. When is the holiday? One week from tomorrow, right? One week from tomorrow. I can't believe it. I better get shopping. You guys better go get shopping. <laughs>